so today we are discussing the digital data transmission actually in the last class we have discussed that there are two type of data transmission so one we have discussed was the analog analog signals are there and second one we have discussed was the digital well talking about the analog we have discussed that there are the sine waves which are coming and the in the digital the waves are simply like this so becoming the digital wave we are having the 1 0 and 1 but here we are having many values it is in the floating also so we know that the digital is always better than the analog signals so there we are doing the extension of this topic that the digital data transmissions are further divided into the two categories so this data transmission talking about the digital data so one we are having is the parallel and second one we are having is the serial so there are two type of data transmission one is parallel and second one is the serial now i am taking one example to make you understand let us suppose that we are having the sender this side and from there we are having the multiple lines let us suppose that these are the multiple lines which are going from one sender to other receiver so now you can see that there are multiple lines which are going so this is the example of parallel communication if i say that 1 2 3 4 and 5 so these are the five lines which are sending the data so data is moving directly from these lines now assume that one line can send one bit of data now how much data i can send at the same time so five bits can be sent at the same time so this is called the parallel transmission parallel transmission means there are parallel lines if i have to send the five bits then i need five lines if i have to send the 15 bits then i need the 15 lines bits i am taking example that let us suppose one line is sending the one bit talking about next one we are having is the serial transmission the serial transmission we are learning from very first day let us suppose that there is a sender this way and there is a receiver at this side now here we are sending through one wire one line so there is a single line on which we are sending the data so that is called the serial transmission let us suppose that at the same time we are having the five bits of data but it will go bit by bit only one bit can go so there we can say that only one bit can transmit at a time so this is the serial transmission so these are the major categories of the data transmission in the digital form one is parallel and second one is the serial so now we are discussing the parallel transmission and afterward we will see the further categories of serial also which is asynchronous synchronous and isochronous so this whole diagram we will discuss one by one but first of all we are going to the parallel transmission so now we are discussing the first category which is the parallel transmission so we are writing here it is parallel transmission so guys now this diagram is very much clear to all of you that this is our sender and there we are having a receiver let us suppose that i have to send the eight bits so eight bits can be sent together means at a time i can send the eight bits so now for that we are having the eight lines so we can even count that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so these are the eight lines out of that we can send the eight bits bits can be 0 and 1 because we are learning the digital data transmission then for sure we are sending the digital signals so if i talk about the definition then we can say that we can send or we can say the multiple bits are sent with each clock tick well that is very interesting each clock tick means whenever we are saying a second 
whenever the clock move a second moves right a clock tick we say it as the clock tick so at a second moved the multiple bits are transferred so in the case of this diagram whenever a clock tick moves the eight bits are transferred because there are eight lines so there is one more conclusion we can draw that to transfer eight bits there are eight separate lines are required means to send the eight bits we need the eight lines or to send the 20 bits we need the 20 lines so that is the important thing about the parallel communication now we are moving towards the advantages so if i say the advantages then the very first advantage of the parallel communication is high speed so we can say that the speed is very high the reason is there if you are transferring a data and you are having multiple lines to transfer and all are in your control so obviously the speed will be very high so that is the main advantage of the parallel communication but there are various disadvantages also so if i talk about the disadvantage then the first disadvantage is the cost we know that if eight lines are there then obviously eight times the cost let us assume that i can send the data from one line but i am using the eight lines now so eight times more cost will be there so cost is very high and also it is limited to short distance so that is a major disadvantage let us suppose that you are having the eight lines for sending eight bits but maybe you can send in your area or maybe you can send in uh, 10 km 20 km but you cannot just send these eight line to complete city for your communication you are using eight lines that will be very very costly so long distance is not possible so that's why we we see that parallel is obviously better in terms of speed but in terms of cost parallel is the worst so that's why we are having the next type of the data transmission and that is called the serial transmission so now we are learning the serial transmission so i am writing here this is the next transmission which is serial transmission so talking about the serial transmission we are having only one line so you can see that only one wire is there so this is only one wire through which we are sending the data so I am writing here one wire or one line. Now if I has to send the same 8 bits, let us suppose that these are the 8 bits which I has to send. So these 8 bits will send one after another. Means they will go into the sequence one by one they are sending. We cannot send them at the same time. So what will be the speed? Speed will be only one bit that means only one bit will be sent if i assume that in the previous example in the parallel communication the speed was let us suppose that eight bits are sent per second then here only one bit will be sent in a second so this is the example of the serial communication but yes we know that the speed is less but still we are using it because of the cost that's why uh, the people are more interested towards the cost and we are using it now take this example we are having a sender and we are having a receiver so at the sender side we are having some eight bits and we have to send them so only one wire is there through which those all eight bits will come and these are the parallel to serial converter this is applied another side again serial to parallel converter thing is that you assume that all the 8 bits are coming to the sender means sender is sending the same 8 bits but we are using only one line that's why this converter is required so this one is the converter which is converting the parallel to serial because these 8 bits are parallel 
and whatever they are going over here they are the serial serial means one so converting eight to one meaning i am giving chance to one by one so these are the eight bits now coming here they are again stored and again they are giving back eight bits are given here so data was eight bits only in both the cases parallel and the serial but the difference is that in the parallel eight bits are sent in a second at the same time because eight lines are there but in the serial we are having one line so the eight bit data is sent one by one one after the another so we can write about the serial transmission that one bit sent with each clock tick clock tick we know that the clock moves right a second i am talking about so every second we can send only one bit so that is the thing only one bit is transferred and obviously to transfer one bit we need only one line so one line is required so that is not a new thing we have to add on but yes there are two important things in the concern with serial communication one is the lsb LSB stands for least significant bit and there is another thing that is MSP which is called as most significant bit now least significant and most significant bit now the rightmost bit which is there so bit at the right which is present is the least significant bit and bit on the left that is called the most significant bit so talking about here in the diagram so here you can see that zero is the on the right so on the right we are having is the lsb least significant bit and here we are having zero at the end so that is the msp and the data is moving in this way so which one is the first bit transferred lsb so we can write here the data is transferred from lsb to msb so talking about the data if we are sending the least significant bit will reach to the receiver first so this is the bit which will receive to the receiver first then afterward the chance is given so on till the msp so this is all about the serial communication now we are talking about the advantages so the advantages of the serial communication the first and the foremost advantage we know that it is the reduce cost the cost of data transmission is very less because you know that only one line is going instead of eight lines all the speed is less no problem but cost is very less and you know that today people prefer cost right so less cost is there and that is also beneficial for the long distance so that is much beneficial now we are talking about the disadvantages so disadvantages so talking about the disadvantage we need or we require conversion device well we know this thing here these two devices are extra one is parallel to serial communication and then is serial to parallel so that converter are required because the sender is sending the data into the 8 bits then afterward those bits are converted to the serial communication so that parallel to serial converter is required then this serial reach to receiver and again the serial to parallel is converted then given the 8 bits to the receiver so these conversion devices are required so these are the extra now afterward the serial communication as we know that the serial is more beneficial in terms of cost and we use the serial everywhere mostly so just like the internet our home obviously the one wire is coming there are no eight wires coming at our home so one wire is there so serial communication is beneficial more in terms of cost so there are three more types of serial one is asynchronous second one is synchronous and third one is isochronous 
So these are the three further types of serial communication.